I was born into a Christian family and from young I was taught the importance of prayer and Bible reading. I actually started reading my Bible on a daily basis at the age of eight. We then moved to South Africa and I started attending Kloof Harvest. And it's there that I realized that my relationship with God was lacking intimacy. You know, in Germany, we were never taught about the Holy Spirit and I only got to know Him here. And as you can imagine, this completely changed my perspective on God and my relationship with Him. From when I was young, I wanted to be a missionary. And in my two years at Bible College, God confirmed this call again and again. These last two years, I was in Myanmar as a missionary. And I still remember how early on I was walking to the market and buying vegetables. And I was just thinking to myself, wow, I'm actually here, a dream come true. In Myanmar, 80% of the people are Buddhist and they try to accumulate as much merit as possible. I once spoke to a monk and he showed me all the things he needed to do. I said to him, Jesus has done it all for us. There's nothing we can do. He looked at me and said, that's impossible. But I know a seed has been planted in his life. There's a scripture that deeply resounds within me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart of man imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. In Myanmar, so many people don't know what God has prepared for them. And this made me realize the power of the gospel and how many people still need to hear about it. While in Myanmar, I prayed that I would not just have an impact on the people there, but also on people back home reading my newsletter. To, towards the end there, my brother phoned me and said he wanted to get baptized. He had seen how I had given up everything in obedience to God and was inspired by what I was doing in Myanmar. He thus decided to follow Jesus. Even though my time in Myanmar was not always easy, I know that this is where God wants me to be. And I will go back on the mission field, hopefully to Asia. For now, I'm doing my honors in psychology in order to gain entrance into the country I want to go. And I'm super excited to see how God's plan is going to unfold in my life.